Yeah, I mean, this is this must be an honor for 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 uh, for. Uh, for anybody, for this matter, to be playing against Hungry Boss right now, we've got some. We've got gonna, two it's gods not gonna playing. Feel like an honor in a minute. Yeah, that. we've got two gods on two streams right now. We've yeah. got a whole crowd right here watching right now. This is amazing. So what is this? Is this Falco? Falco Buff? Uh, I believe Falco Puff. Yep. Right. Are they going straight into it or on FD? Ooh. Oh, they're going straight into it. Okay. I'm actually very surprised that they uh, that they actually I'm not that surprised that they counterpicked it here. Oh. I can I can see this this being. Yeah. So Falco actually, believe it or not, has some. More combos, I think, on Jigglypuff than most people realize. Yeah. Um, if you watch, uh, I was gonna say West Balls, but I don't think that's that's fair because West Balls combos anything into anything. Exactly. But, yeah. um, but, oh, this is just looking t looking really bad for Flare Gun, but he does get 32 percent. So. No, but par not part bad. of the the trickiness in yeah. this matchup as Falco is that there are really only a few openings, a few hit confirms that will lead you into a truly devastating combo, and Shine is not really one of them. Exactly. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, what you're what you're gonna want to see a little bit more like dare up tilts, bear. Um, those those moves can kind of link together. See, yeah. once you're once he's at that that percent, it becomes really difficult to, to hit him with shine something. You can do shine instant back air still, but you exactly, can do that to yeah. just about anybody. Great di out of that up throw there. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, mid level players would would fall for that up throw and they would get rested easily by J by a Jigglypuff in those circumstances. Uh, but Flare Gun putting a bit of a fight right now, only a bit of a stock behind. Great uh, forward air by uh, by Hungry Box maintaining stage control and so one of the things with the with, with a lot of the top top players um, not not saying that they they're not trying to to force knock every single person they play but a lot of times you'll notice that the first game they do much weaker than they do the second game and that's exactly. because well, as they take a second to think like okay what was he doing what were what were the habits of this person I was playing. Um, once I can kind of think about that, actually, that was really good DI to yeah, not get, very, very good DI, exactly. put, get put in a rest position for any of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, dangerous there. Hungry Boss wanting to go for a very, very strong kill, but nevertheless, Flare Gun will drop that, that edge guard, well, and he will get hit by a series of forward airs. So that's, I believe that's actually the third time that uh, Hungry Box has gone out, interrupted uh, side B to the ledge, and then yeah. gotten the oh. kill off of it. That was more Hungry Box's drop than, yeah. than Flare Gun's. Uh, Oh, great okay. rest! I was about to see that happening. <laughs> great stuff by Hungry Box taking game one. Yo, I haven't seen up smash into rest in a minute. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> and it looks like the it looks like the guy that I, I think trained it's actually a, been years. Yeah. yeah, it looks like the guy that I trained a little bit is uh, well, I guess holding a little bit on his own, kind of. But uh, no, I, th I think he did. <laughs> I actually think he did pretty well. I mean, yeah. I'm really interested to see what happens once he puts platforms into the mix. Exactly. And and now they're on uh, battlefield right now. That's the counter pick. Yeah, I actually I think this is pretty smart. Um, yeah. I think that it's going to give him a decent opportunity to get away from Puff a little bit better. Yep. Oh, uh, that was not good. That was not good. Missing yeah. DI right out of the up throw. He can't waste that opportunity. Um, well, he can't. Two opportunities. One, he can't waste the opportunity to use platforms. Like right now, he keeps just running down and turning it back into yeah. Final D. Just exactly. with stuff above his head. Exactly. Um, and then the other thing is when, when like, right there, he could have actually gotten down and gotten a more solid punish on that rest. Mm -hmm. It was oh, just too dangerous slow. situation there. <laughs> Great series of punishes by Hungry Boss Gang. Aerial by Aerial, right into a back here now. He has, he's maintaining stage control, but drops the edge guard there. Yep. And once again, that was yet another side beat of the ledge. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that that is... Uh, tricky when it comes to counter picking, um, and you, you pick a stage like this. Yeah, you really have to, like I was saying, you have to use those platforms to your advantage. Otherwise, Hungry Box is oh. going to use them to his. Yeah, right? Hungry yeah. Box is extremely good at catching you, uh, missing attack on a platform with that up air. Yeah, um, it's a rest. Oh my See? goodness! Wow, what a four stock. But so, great, yeah. Great so like in, in that game, uh, yeah, that, that, was, that, that was a good set. But like in that game, Flare.